Crawlers, baby. I'm a brawl on a mission, undefeated, undisputed, catch his right hook, don't miss you, I'm the greatest, like Ali, pet power in my punch, line him up, knock him down, bar. it's really what you want, I punch you dead in your front. What's up, boxing fans? This is your boy, Rick Muhammad, and this is Brawler Sports Media, and this is the Brawler Sports Boxing Show. Just wanted to recap on last night's final show, last night's final fight on PBC uh, in uh, Uncastfield, Connecticut. And Mohegan Suns. And the night ended with my man Erickson Lubin, the hammer, versus Terrell uh, Gashi. Uh, that was a pretty boring fight uh, for about the first five to seven rounds, in my opinion. Everybody wanted to pity pat, touch him up. I mean, how many rounds do it take to fill a guy out? But the last five rounds, from the eighth to the twelfth, got really, really exciting when both of these guys started letting their hands go. And in the tenth round, Gache had some success with, with clocking Lubin and rocked him with a straight right hand. And I was like, oh no, you know, Lubin's in trouble. But the conditioning that both of these guys was in, it was impeccable. And, and Lubin was able to recover and regroup just from his conditioning while, while in camp. And, and that's, that's what training is all about. Got the right people in there telling you what to do, pushing you and pushing you and pushing you. So he, he regrouped. And then in that 12th and final round, Lubin, kept, Lubin catches Gache with a right hook to the head, which almost ended it for him in the last and final 12th round. So the fight ended up getting interesting and exciting and entertaining from the eighth round on. However, winning this was the uh, the eliminated bout for the welterweight division. And as you know, for the super welter welterweight division at 154, I mean. Uh, so as you know, Lubin lost uh, back in 2017. I think he was like 15 and 0 when he lost that fight to Jamel Charlo with a devastating first round knockout by Charlo. He just went in there and waxed Lubin. So Lubin is hoping next week, you know, they got the double header on pay-per-view, both the Charlo brothers. Jamel is uh, fighting uh, to unify the welterweight division, super welterweight division versus Jason Rosario. So Lubin is hoping that he handles his business and do that because then Lubin becomes uh, Charlo's mandatory, and he gets to redeem himself from that first round knockout that he sustained back in 2017 uh, from Charlo Jamel. So, last night, pretty interesting night in boxing. Still has some good boxing. Boxing is still alive, like I tell everybody. It's not dead. It's not going nowhere. So, hey, shh, quit saying boxing is dead, especially these MMA fans and UFC guys. Boxing, you would never replace boxing. Put it like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the night. Once again, this is your boy Rick Muhammad, Brawler Sports Media. This is the Brawler Sports Boxing Show. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. I'll keep you in the know, keep you in the loop, and when and hit your alarm. And every time I got some new information and content going up, you'll be the first to know. And you can just get on and check it out. Comment. I want to feed feedback from you guys. Let me hear what your your boxing IQ and expertise is uh, on last night's fights if you watched them. And then share. And of course, you know, hey, continue to watch Brawler Sports Media. That's all I have for now. See you next time. Brawlers, Brawlers baby. Brawlers, baby.